So was it worth it? And will I buy it again? This is Gossip Girl PK and today we're gonna talk about all things Beautylish Lucky Bag 2018. Uh, before we get started, just a quick reminder to hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up to let me know that you care. Okay, so before we get started, we have to talk about the elephant in the room. Yes, I finally decided to make an appearance on YouTube, apparently. And I have to say, a lot of that has come from my Snapchat journey. I have been very active on my Snapchat for the last year or so, and I have received so much love that I decided it was time that I had to make this appearance on YouTube as well. Because I've come to the conclusion that at the end of the day, people follow you for your personality, and it's important that they can actually get to know you and see who you are. So anyways, enough about that. Let's talk about Beautylish 2018 Lucky Bag. Now, I was traveling to Pakistan from the end of November all the way to March. So I had my box delivered to my address here in China. And when it delivered, of course, I wasn't here. And so I couldn't get my hands on my Lucky Bag until March, of course. Um, so by the time I got here and I unboxed my box, it was already too late and nobody really cared about that box anymore. I did unbox it on my Snapchat, but I never uploaded that video here on YouTube because nobody cared at that time. Everyone was over the Lucky Bag 2018 already. But I've been using these products for the last five, six, seven weeks at this point and I thought it was a brilliant idea to actually go through all of them and see a month later whether or not it was worth it investing in that lucky bag. And I'm saying that because I just unsubscribed from my BoxyCharm after being subscribed to it for more than a year. So I know when you initially get all your products, it absolutely looks like worth it. But, but in retrospect, oftentimes when you think about those products, you realize they were not really useful and you never really use them. So with that in mind, I thought it was actually pretty useful to see if my lucky bag was actually worth it and if I would actually like to buy it again. So let's start with the big guy in my lucky bag, which is this guy right here. This is the Jouer Skinny Dip Palette. And I kind of knew I was getting this in my lucky bag. Okay, let me rephrase that. I didn't know. I suspected that I was gonna get this in my lucky bag. So because I was not here in China when my lucky bag arrived and when people started getting their lucky bags, I was in Pakistan and I was constantly stalking the hashtag 2018 lucky bag on Instagram and on YouTube. Whenever someone posted a picture of their lucky bag or a video about their lucky bag, I would go and watch it. And so I kind of started to see a pattern and I knew that a lot of people were getting it and I was really happy for them because guess what? I already had it. I have a tutorial using this eyeshadow palette from a year ago. So I got this palette almost exactly a year ago. I wore it on Eid 2017. It has these beautiful six eyeshadows that are all extremely pigmented and all extremely glittery. Uh, this is one of my favorite special occasions kind of palette. And this is probably the reason why I was so disappointed with my Natasha Denona eyeshadows. To be honest, this is what I expected my Natasha Denona eyeshadows to be like. I had already used this formula and so I wasn't wowed by the Natasha Denona eyeshadow. When I swatched it for the first time, I was like, meh, that's not something special. I've had better. And in my mind, I was talking about this. So I love that you can really pack a punch with these eyeshadows, just tap them on your eyelids. I prefer using a glitter glue, which I prefer using with all kinds of eye looks. And it's just beautiful. All of these shades are really pigmented with the exception of one. This one in bikini, which is a pinky shade, is more or less like a top coat. And this has a very sheer pink base with some green micro glitter, which looks ab absolutely stunning when it catches the light. At first, I was a little disappointed with this shade because it didn't make sense to me. It didn't fit in with all of these super pigmented and super punchy eyeshadows. But with time, I've learned to work with it and I know that it's, it's supposed to be a top coat. And it looks absolutely beautiful when you just pat it in the center of your eye and it catches the light. So all in all, I love this palette. This is hands down one of my favorite palettes. Now, obviously, because I already had one, I didn't need the one that I got in my lucky bag and I sold it to one of the sellers here in China because buying so much makeup here, living here in China has its perks. I've made some good friends along the way. And when I asked one of them, they were very willing 
to get it off my hands so i gave it away to her and got some of my money back which is actually excellent i bought the regular size lucky bag for 95 dollars it was 75 dollars for the lucky bag and 20 dollars international shipping so i got about 35 dollars out of it back by selling this palette and so technically i got five products in my lucky bag which we're going to talk about right now and I got them for 60 bucks. So let's talk about those and see if my lucky bag was actually worth it. So let's start with the most affordable product in my lucky bag, which is this guy right here. This is the Caffeine Solution 5% from The Ordinary. The claims on this are that it reduces appearance of eye contour, pigmentation, and of puffiness. So basically it just promises to waken up your eye, deep off them, and get rid of that pigmentation under your eye. I have been using this product for the last five or six weeks and I can tell you this, it does deep off your under eyes. It does waken them up and make them feel more refreshed and just ready for the day. I use this every single morning. I'm not using it at nighttime because at nighttime I'm using my SK2 eye cream. I'm kind of obsessed with that stuff and I really think it helps with my under eye circles. So because I'm not using this in isolation, I cannot really tell you whether or not it helps with the darkness under the eyes, but I can tell you it does help with the puffiness. So A plus for this product. Actually, all of the ordinary products get an A plus from me. If you follow me on Snapchat, you already know my obsession with the ordinary products, how much I love them and how many of them are a constant in my skincare. So anything and everything that I've tried from their line, it's affordable, it's brilliant, it works. It's amazing and so I was really happy to get this in my bag even though it's not really an expensive item but I trust Wayne Goss and Wayne Goss listed this as one of the top five products from The Ordinary so super glad to get my hands on this. All right up next I got this. This is the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. It's a peachy salmony kind of cream that is really going to brighten up your under eyes. Again, if you follow me on Snapchat, you know I'm a big believer in color correction. I never really go in with a really light concealer under my eyes because I feel like instead of giving me a really bright under eyes, it gives me a very strong gray cast. And so I always, always go in with an orange or a salmony kind of corrector and then a green on top of that to actually counter all the redness and blueness under my eyes and then I go in with a concealer that is almost the exact same same shade as that of my foundation and that I think really covers my eyes does not give me a gray cast and actually brightens my under eyes as well but that's really besides the point the point is I've been wanting to try this product for a very long amount of time because I've heard nothing but good things about this product and I really wanted to give it a go but I mean I had this really amazing color corrector in my collection which I love so much that I actually bought a backup of it and so it was kind of pointless to spend like $38 on a color corrector when I already had something I was kind of satisfied with, satisfied enough to buy a backup and finish the entire thing up. So I never bought it, but now that I have it, all thanks to the lucky bag, I'm super excited. I really love this product. It's a little light for me um, or for my liking, but it still works. It does brighten up your under eyes and does not give you a gray cast. And I've been really, really enjoying this product. Up next is this guy. And this is probably the product that I'm most excited about out of all the products from my lucky bag. This is the Wayne Goss number 10 brush. And incidentally, it's very similar to the number two brush that I treated myself with on my last birthday. Now, when it comes to eye brushes, I love splurging, but when, get, when it comes to face brushes, I'm okay with like ordinary brushes and the only high-end brush in my collection is the Wayne Goss number two, and I love that brush. Uh, now, I would have been more happy to get a brush that was a little different than the Zero Two, but I mean, it's a Wayne Goss brush. It's soft, it's beautiful, it's luxurious. It really gets the job done and there's nothing bad I can say about these brushes. Now I use that one to set the concealer under my eyes and I keep this white one to buff my face with powder at the end of any makeup look. Uh, technically, this is a highlighter brush and you can use it for highlight, of course, but this will really pack a punch and give you a very strong highlight, which I am not really into. So I mean, I don't exactly use it for its intended purpose, but I still use it pretty much every single day and I love it. So glad I got this in my lucky bag. Up next is another product that I had been eyeing for a while. This is the RMS Luminizer and it's officially called the Master Mixer or something. I first heard about this product through Jessica Braun from Jam Beauty 89. She raved about this saying how skin-like this highlighter was. It's a cream highlighter and even though technically you're not really supposed to apply creams on top of powders, but with this I find 
that you can do that and it will not really disrupt the makeup underneath. This is the highlight that I'm wearing right now on my face and I do agree with Jessica. It is a very natural highlight in that it does make you look like you're glowing from within, does not make your cheeks look like they have a stripe of highlight on them, which is the kind of look that I really actually enjoy. And I'm so glad that I got it. Speaking of wearing this on my cheeks, did I tell you that I was wearing actually all of these products? Of course, granted that you cannot really see the brightener under my eyes or the caffeine solution or the vein Goss brush, you're still able to see at least the eyeshadow palette, this luminizer and this last product that I am going to talk about. So this last product that I got was a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. This is in the shade Walk of Shame and this is a beautiful shade. It is what is on my lips right now. I am wearing a brown kind of lip liner underneath Taurus by Colourpop. Actually, so the color that you see on my lips is probably a little deeper than what this by itself looks like, but I've worn it by itself. I've reached for it several times over the last five or six weeks, and that is huge since I don't wear lipsticks. I'm a very liquid lipstick kind of person. So with that, I haven't reached for a lipstick this often in a long, long time. This is very comfortable on the lips and does last a pretty solid amount of time. So that is the last product that I got in my lucky bag. Now the thing is, I got really lucky because I got everything in my lucky bag that I had been either eyeing for a while or that I had some kind of interest in or that I already had. Now, had it been someone else who could not pass along their palette or resell it, it would have been a huge loss for them. But for me personally, this lucky bag was absolutely worth it. Now, if you want me to do a video about why I unsubscribed from my BoxyCharm, let me know and I'll be happy to do that video for you guys as well. Other than that, that is pretty much it for today's video. I loved my lucky bag and chances are I will be buying it next year as well. Let me know if you wanna order it next year as well, whether you have any of these products in your collection already and do you like them. So anyways guys, that is pretty much it for today's video. Do not forget to hit the subscribe button before you leave and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.